hi welcome to eye rollers thanks for tuning in my name is amy my sister's name is carrie you'll also be meeting her in the next video we're here to do honest reviews and tutorials and all things beauty on our channel and so today uh, what i'm here for is to do a review on the lorac uh, the new lorac unzipped palette on for ocean sunset I'm gonna do a full face glam. Um, as you can see, I've already got it all on. So if you stay tuned, you can see from start to finish how I got this look. And also don't forget to hit subscribe below and hit the little bell beside it so that you can be notified when we have a new video. I do wanna tell you something very exciting for our first thousand subscribers on iRollers channel. We are going to give away one of the three brand new Lorac unzipped palette. Ocean Sunset is one. Carrie is going to do, my sister is going to do a review on another one, um, and that palette is the Mountain Sunset, so stay tuned for that. Also, there is Unzipped Desert Sunset. One of these will be given away to one lucky subscriber, which is one of our first thousand subscribers. Now, the way that we're going to choose which palette will be given away on my video, I do the Ocean Sunset and Carrie's, she does the uh, Mountain Sunset. It's going to be one of these two, I guess, basically, what is what it's going to come down to. You're going to comment and say which palette you liked better, which eye did you like better, which colors did you like better. So we're going to tally all those up, and we're going to pull one lucky um, subscriber out of the thousand, and that person's going to get that palette. These are $42 and do come with a primer, so these are pretty awesome, and they're brand new, just in stores. So we think that adds a little something spicy to our channel if you like what you see and you want to know how i got there how i got there <laughs> if you like what you see and you want to know how i got there please stay tuned right now and we're going to go from glam to no makeup and we're going to show you step by step so here's the palette the lorac los angeles unsipped ocean sunset and this is what the boxing looks like very cool got a list of all 10 shades on the back and a picture of how to use and their colors. Here's the palette. Has an accordion style opening. It's very pretty. Whoops. And there went the plastic. We have there's 10 very nice shades. Mother of Pearl, Saltwater, Ocean Floor, Horizon, Sea Urchin, Bedrock, Sundown, Sandbar, High Tide, Stingray. So those are all 10 shades. And that's every color swatched on my arm. And these feel very buttery and very nice. This palette is $42 and they do go ahead and give you a primer to go with it. Um, today I won't be using this primer, but I do think it's pretty cool that Lorac gives you this um, with the palette because a lot of palettes you can spend way more than $42 and you don't get a primer. Um, so we're going to go through the full face. So here we go, guys. Okay, first before we do our foundation, we're going to use the Bare Minerals Prime Time to get a nice prime going on before we put on our foundation. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Luminous Silk uh, Foundation uh, for Giorgio Armani and our Sigma uh, Flat Kabuki F80 brush. And let's get that going. My first coat, I'm going to use the brush to get it on and all over. This foundation is so easy to work with. It is a medium to full coverage. Um, you don't have to worry about working fast with it. Um, it does smooth really well and is very blendable. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender on the second coat so that I make sure that is poreless and flawless. Next, I'm going to use a tart shape tape concealer in light medium this is where everybody's going to be a little different because i have lines and wrinkles around my mouth area and chin so <laughs> i'm going to put it in my problem areas now i'm going to take this beauty blender and get to blending Okay guys, today's eye primer is by Benefit Stay, Don't Stray. This is why I wanted to use this today instead of the Lorac, which Lorac is great, 
but this has a little color. It's almost like you're putting concealer on your lids and you can put concealer on your lids for eye primer. And a lot of people don't know that or don't do that, but I absolutely love this primer. Oh, so now it's time to get it set and then we're gonna do those brows. Um, so today I've got two things. Uh, first, I wanna use a little bit of the um, RCMA to set my underneath eye. This is just a no color powder and it will get all that set to prevent fun, uh, to prevent the product from setting in your fine lines and wrinkles. I'm gonna go in with this Bobbi Brown brush and just go all over with this beautiful powder and let it set in my face. Loving that Charlotte Tillsbury powder. I'm finished with that, so now it's time for brows. I know you may look and say, girl, you ain't got no brows. I know. Overplucking, overplucking, overplucking. I got my brows on using the Anastasia. Um, also, I'm going to use this little um, brow um, duality. Um, just a little bit underneath, just to kind of etch them out a little um, since I have brow problems. <laughs> and I wanna make sure that mine are on really well and, and pop. So now I'm gonna use Hula Bronzer to get a good contour going on and bronze on my face. I'm gonna take this Wayne Goss 12 brush and we're gonna get that started. I'm going on the other side, keeping it high. And we are gonna do blush and highlighter. So again, this is just bronzing. Next, I'm gonna take um, this Becca palette, blush palette, and I'm gonna go in with this shade here in the middle and I'm gonna use a Wayne Goss number 14 for Songbird. Make those apples of those cheeks. Rub it in circles and blend it back with that Hula Bronzer. We all know that we have to have that highlight uh, blinding to space. Today I'm gonna use Jeffree Star in his uh, Skin Frost collection. I'm gonna use Crystal Ball. Going in with the Wayne Goss 10, just lightly touching. Here we go. Crystal Ball is gonna have a little bit of a pink and purple sheen to it. And I'm just putting it right above where I put the bronzer and the blush. And if you think I'm putting on too much, girl, you can't have too much. Let's go ahead and review and do the tutorial on the Ocean Sunset Palette. I'm gonna start out with Horizon. And as I'm dusting and working with this, it does have quite a bit of fallout. So that doesn't mean it's bad shadow. Um, what that means is that you just need to take a very light hand and expect a lot of pigment, a lot of pigmentation and I was right. I'm gonna start blending that in like a windshield wiper motion. I'm just gonna rock it in my socket and blend it in right here. This is our transition color. If, you, if you're not used to using a transition color, please make that your first priority in learning to do shadow. Right underneath that, I'm going to apply High Tide and I'm going right underneath horizon using high tide. I'm not going all the way to the lash line. I'm just putting this color and packing it right underneath in a circular half moon motion. Just a little bit lower, but not all the way to the lash line. And you have to hold your mouth just right like I am, or it just doesn't work out properly. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna grab that brush that I was using while I go by Jap uh, Japanesque, and I'm going to make sure those two are blended really well. Actually, I think this is a Real Techniques brush. And if you hear something snoring in the background, that would be my sister's dog. I'm gonna grab Mo uh, Mother of Pearl very lightly. And I'm gonna get this up at the top. Did you see how I... So, tap, flip it, and pack it in to where it doesn't fall into your sunset. Get that Real technique blending brush back out, and let's get that blended. 
It's making me feel like that painter. What's his name? <laughs> Bob Ross. I feel like Bob Ross. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, I'm going to do a little Bob Ross insert right here. <laughs> Let's decide. Maybe there's a happy tree. Evergreen tree. He lives right there. Start with just... <laughs> Let's do that on the other side. I'm going to go into Stingray with this buxom brush here. And I'm going to create just a little sideways triangle. And I'm not going to go over too far, not even halfway, like a third of the way over. And just do that little sideways triangle. Make sure you get that blended. No harsh lines. With Stingray, we did have some considerable fallout, but that's okay. We can take a brush and get that off and take a beauty blender and get that wiped up. It's a beautiful, beautiful pigmented color. Beautiful. We're also going to take that and run that down our lash line. Okay. Let's do that on the other side. And it may be that I didn't tap good enough the first time because I'm not getting as much fallout now. So it could have been totally on me. I apologize because I'm not getting that. And we want to make sure we blend. Using a very small Real Techniques brush, I'm going to go back in with the high tide that we used in the beginning and going to go over the stingray and that bottom lash line to really use both colors and just make it pop. So I sprayed my MAC 242 with the MAC Fix Plus. What I did was I got it wet. Um, I tried salt water and I packed it on the lid. Um, I realized it wasn't as shimmery and bright and it wasn't giving me the look that I'd hoped for. So then on top of that, I decided to use sandbar. I really like um, sandbar and I even brought it down on the lower lash line a little bit. And I don't know if sandbar would give me the look alone or if it's the two of them combined, but it did give me the desired effect once I added sandbar. Um, so now all I want to do is just take a little bit of the Mother of Pearl on a very small little uh, Real Techniques brush, and I want to go right in here in my corner to give that some pop and light. And now we want to do some eyeliner using the Tom Ford. And um, we're going to start with a, just a small wing. We're going to start with the flick and then just drag it back along. We're not going to put liner on the lower lash line. And that's our wing. The mascara I'm going to be using today is L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It is my favorite in blackest black. And voila! I've got my eyelashes on now. And this is the final look except for we're going to use Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is the bomb. I love it and I love the smell of it. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to use Lip Sculptor in the color Adore. It's one side is the tube of lipstick and one side is gloss. Oh, it's such a pretty color. And it smells delectable. It's such a gorgeous nude color with this bright beachy eye. I love it. Now let me go ahead and get the lip gloss that goes with it. I love it. Now, to finish it off, let me do the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Mist. Do a little fan. So guys, this is the final look. So thanks for watching my video today. Um, my overall review for the Lorac Ocean Sunset Palette, I give it a four stars because one of the shimmer shades was a little hard to show up and there was quite a bit of fallout, but that is okay and it, you can work around that. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe before you leave and we'll see you next time. Bye.